Every year, wildlife biologists and specialists from the Wildlife Services Division of the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, a division of the United States Department of Agriculture, gear up to fight rabies from on the ground and the sky by distributing oral rabies vaccine baits for raccoons and other wildlife. The primary purpose is to stop the further spread of rabies in these targeted areas where we're working in the United States. The ultimate goal of the program is to hopefully eradicate all the terrestrial strains of rabies in this country. Wildlife Services works in partnership with local and state agencies, as well as universities and volunteers to distribute vaccine baits. In 2015, more than 10 million baits were distributed in the eastern United States, from Maine to Florida, and as far west as Ohio, to stop the mid-Atlantic strain of rabies, which is primarily carried by raccoons. In the eastern U.S., we have 13 states currently conducting oral rabies vaccination, with the primary goal to create a vaccination border with our international collaborators in Canada to prevent raccoon rabies from further spreading north into various provinces in Canada. And so what we do as part of our strategy is we have oral rabies vaccination zones placed very strategically ahead of where we actually have rabies cases occurring. Wildlife Services uses two types of vaccine baits. One called Reverol VRG, which is covered in a fish meal to attract raccoons and is dropped from planes and helicopters or covered in a polymer and distributed by hand. The other is an experimental vaccine smells like vanilla and is called OnRAV. In the United States every year, the cost of living with wildlife rabies exceeds $300 million. Most importantly, rabies is essentially 100% fatal. So if a person is exposed to this disease and they don't receive post-exposure treatment, they invariably will pass away from this disease. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimate that over 90% of the total rabies cases in the United States is found in wild animals. This was not always the case. Back 50, 60 years ago and beyond that, the number one carrier of rabies in this country was pets, and it was primarily dogs. But over the years, with public education on the need to vaccinate, the number one carrier of these things is wildlife. The typical way that people come into contact with a potentially rabid animal involves their domestic pets. Raccoons are certainly a charismatic species, and so people tolerate them in their living environments. They've adapted to pretty much every environment in the United States. They're closely associated with people and domestic pets in urban areas. When you have a dog or a cat out in the yard, uh, it is possible that people are allowing them to share food bowls with wildlife. The primary thing that people can do to protect themselves and their pets is to keep their pets vaccinated against rabies and to enjoy wildlife from afar. Any warm-blooded mammal can transmit rabies, as can bats. If you see a sick acting animal, stay away from it, keep your children and pets indoors, and contact a local official. You can call Wildlife Services at 1-866-487-3297 and we can provide help and guidance. This is to my knowledge, the largest effort to eradicate a disease caused by wildlife anywhere in the world. It's an enormous effort. It's a goal that will take many years to achieve, but I'm confident working with the state and the local and the federal partners in this who all share the, the desire to eradicate rabies that will ultimately be successful in this effort. For further information, please log on to 